Hey everybody, so I finally found a good place to film my videos. Here are my Percy Jackson poster. Well, I don't know if you can call it Percy Jackson poster. It's my Heroes of Olympus poster. It came with one of the books, I believe. I think Blood of Olympus. Anyways, not the point of this video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the selection series. First of all, let me first say, yes, I am late as hell on the game. I finished reading the selection series like Sunday and I finished it within one and a half weeks because it's summer break and I was like let me get on reading and I got on it. If you guys don't know what the selection series is about which I'm sure you do know it is about there's this process called the selection that happens in this futuristic America world okay and the selection is where people from each one girl from each province is chosen for the prince and the prince goes through this the selection to choose who will be the queen i think that was badly explained but whatever <laughs> and basically in this book the narrator or not narrator the protagonist the protagonist is america singer and she enters the selection and she gets chosen and the th first three books are about her journey through the selection first First of all, I'm going to first talk about the first three books in a non-spoilery way and then I'm going to do a spoilery way and then I'm going to the last two books in the series. So this book series started off as a trilogy and then she added the two extra books which I thought she could have just made it a spin-off series. She didn't have to make it all whatever. First of all, I was actually pretty like I gave it like the first book a four out of five stars. Like I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't really like the ending because it was lame as hell in my opinion and I, I thought the book was kind of slow. Like if you guys remember reading this the first book had a lot of riots and I feel like the riots weren't properly addressed and stuff and that was probably one of my biggest issues like it was about both love and the issues with the government it was it was I feel like this book was copying the Hunger Games series except Hunger Games managed to capture it in its real essence it talked about the government falling apart and everything I just feel like this book didn't really address it like the government shouldn't have stayed together if there were this many riots and this many issues I'm sorry like getting married doesn't just solve that well, anyways, that as far as the non-spoilery section goes, I don't have much more to say. So if you don't want to be spoiled about this series, then stop watching the video and I'm just gonna continue. Okay, well, the first book, I thought the entire series should have just been one book because all of them were about the selection, okay? First of all, the book was just so predictable. It was so obvious that Maxon was gonna choose, Maxon, Maxon, whatever, was gonna choose um, America in the end. Like, I saw that coming from a million miles away. Okay, okay. Also, like, I feel like she never really gave Aspen a chance. Like, after she met Maxon, it was so obvious she was never ever gonna give Aspen a chance. And throughout the book, she didn't even really do it. Like, even when she was like cheating on Maxon with Aspen, I feel like she never really got a chance. Okay, at the end of the book in the first three series, I think it was, I don't think is it the one i can't remember for the life of me even though i read it last week i've read so many books not the point okay i am unable to come up with a coherent thought okay so basically what i th okay so at the end <laughs> So at the end of the book, they're like, oh, we're going to dismantle the caste system and dissolve it, okay? You can do that, but that's not going to solve everything. Also, like, in the next two books in the series or whatever, here's the deal. No matter what form of government, not everyone's going to be happy. Our world should show you that. So I'm a little confused and stuff. And by the way, it was just disappointing by the end. Like, last two books, I rated a 2 out of 5 because it was disappointing. I also found Max found to be really cringy and predictable. And, like, I feel like every every book I have ever freaking read, I'm tired of everyone having problems with communication. Like, it's not that hard to communicate. Just let someone talk, listen, and then you can talk. Like, ugh, it's like the basic common sense for me. Now I'm going to talk about the last two books since I spoiled it. And if you don't want to know about the last two books in the series, then you should exit the video. I'm just going to rant about the last two books now. I'm being honest, it's it's going to be a rant because I wasn't that impressed, okay? So the last two books are about Maxon and America's kids. Now, she has, she has a hell of a lot of kids, okay? Like, there's Edlin, I hope I'm saying that right, her brother, who's her twin brother, whose name I cannot say for the life of me. It's like, Ashley. Okay, what is up with the names, though? Like, they're so confusing. Okay, so Edlin's not made. Is it made or, like... 
whatever, the maid that helps her when she sleeps, his name is Nina, N-E-E-N-A. What? Like, it, fe it feels, the names, I don't know. I know it's such like a unimportant thing. I'm just gonna say unimportant. Such a irrelevant thing, I think that's the word. Like, even though the names seem like such an irrelevant thing, it just kept annoying me that for the life of me, I could not pronounce any names. First of all, I don't wanna say Maxon's last name. Okay, and now these people have complicated ass names. Okay, that was so annoying. And then the whole thing with Miss Bryce, I don't know if that was totally necessary. It didn't really pertain to the plot by making Miss Bryce Edelin the aunt and stuff like I feel like that was not that important to the plot and stuff like if it should have Lady Bryce I feel like should have played a bigger role in the book and the plot other than the names I was very disappointed in the last two books because it had the same problem like there's two issues in all of the books it's gonna be love and the government okay and love is kind of addressed and it sort of works out but I'm not, usually not really impressed with the love in Kara Kara Cass's books but the government they just didn't address it. you can't just make making the government a constitutional monarchy will not solve everything like i said no matter what people will be unhappy like by just declaring it a constitutional monarchy won't make everything better and just by doing one thing the people won't start liking her better that was just so unrealistic so unrealistic Ugh. okay i did not see the whole eric and edlin thing coming but then i kind of did like when i was reading i was like eric's acting a little weird in the first of the two books with um in Edlin's point of view the next book I could kind of tell because they kept having like these awkward tension heated moments and I was like oh of course she's gonna like Eric which I wasn't disappointed by but I really shipped her in Kyle like also Kyle's name what what <laughs> oh here's the other thing they she tried to make Josie the Celeste of this the last two books like Celeste was the the mean girl in books one two and three and then four and five she made that Josie and of course by the end of the series they had to become nice realization came to them that is so predictable like when I was reading the fourth book I was predicting that Josie was gonna become nice by nice nice by the last book and Wow, shocker, it came true. I keep touching my hair, I have to stop. Yeah, I had a lot of problems with this. Also, I feel like the last two books could have also been one book. I didn't see the need for there to be two books because, oh, I forgot, the whole America singer has a heart attack because of the heart condition. She's freaking 30 something, okay? I know some people who have heart conditions, but you can't just keep bringing it like back in and stuff. And also, I didn't see the point of, uh, you know how Kendra dies and stuff, right? So, you know, I feel like, oh, this is like a personal conversation. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Basically, Kendra dies and her kids aren't gonna come to the palace because James is a simple man. I didn't see the need for that. And oh, also, I didn't like Edlin. I feel like I should have addressed that because that was like very important. I did not like her. She was a brat. She was super entitled. She was super snobbish, but it was like because she wasn't exposed to a lot. So I can kind of understand, but like she was so annoying. I just hated how like entitled she's all like, I'm the queen. I'm the most powerful person. Like, okay, good for you. Oh, she was like that annoying kid who doesn't know anything and thinks th they're they're the ruler of everything and to be fair she's low-key the ruler also like that ending where she was supposed to marry Henri or henry and she just last minute just grabs eric like that was so stupid and dramatic like i knew she wasn't she wasn't gonna get with henry or if she was like actually no i pretty was pretty sure she wasn't gonna get with that because seeing the ending of the first three books like i knew kiara cast wasn't gonna do that yeah so that's the end of my rant if you like the selection series do not be insulted i'm sorry um, this is my personal opinion. I started out liking the series, but then it, for me, just went downhill. Sorry, I'm gonna leave a disclaimer, but like, we all have our own opinions. If you did like the selection series, uh, do let me know what you liked about it. So that's it for this video. I'm trying to post consistent videos, but I'm pretty bad at it. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up and have a great day.